Hi guys. On this video, I'm going to show you a few of the recent items I've sold on eBay. And then I'm going to show you the footage of when my lovely hubby and I went thrifting on St. Patrick's Day. And you'll even get a little peek of the parade. So stay tuned. Hi all, hope you're doing well. If you don't know, I'm Cindy Kraus from Kraus House Sift and Thrift. I've had a YouTube channel almost a year and I've been selling on eBay for almost 21 years. And what I mostly do on this channel is help you as either a beginning or an existing reseller, um, how to source, what to look for when you're out sourcing to get good ideas for the biggest profit items. I help you with also give you tips on how to run your business more efficiently and just help you to run a smoother business overall. Today I thought I would show you what has sold recently for me on eBay. I'm mostly going to sell the higher priced items but hopefully this will give you an idea what to look what to look for so you can find these items and flip them for a profit as well. So I'm going to be looking over on my computer screen. Sorry about that, you guys. Um, I will try and look at you as much as possible. Um, one of the things I sold recently is this vintage women's Shirley of Hollywood negligee. Um, I recently have discovered that vintage lingerie is a good seller on eBay. And this one I got at Deseret Industries for like, two dollars and I flipped it for seventeen dollars within I'd say two to three weeks there was another one I sold too uh, for about 20 bucks so yeah when you're outsourcing look for those vintage nightgowns and they're, they're very obviously vintage because um, you know you can look at the tag it's usually old or faded or just kind of look at the overall item um, I have sold a lot of vintage um, pajama tops and they're made out of nylon and those don't sell for a lot, maybe 10 to 15. Uh, the longer nightgowns uh, sell for more up to 20, 25. So yeah, that's what I would be looking for if I were you uh, when you go out sourcing. If that's something you wanna do, it's very easy to ship. I just put it in a plastic bag and then a poly mailer and I haven't had any returns on those lately. Um, speaking of returns, I've been getting a lot of returns lately. It's been very frustrating um, for different reasons. Just got a recent return from this girl and she said she didn't like the way the top kind of poofed out. Well, that's the way the style is, but she doesn't like it, so she's returning it. And I had one person say it wasn't as described, but I'm not sure about that because I haven't received the item back. A couple of people said that. It's not what they ordered. And I'm like, really? <laughs> I will look into that when I get the item. But so far, neither one of them has shipped them back to me. Um, there was another um, fit issue, I think, on a clothing item. I usually don't get that many returns, maybe one a month or every couple of months. I've been getting like five or six. I don't know why. It's it's just cyclical, I guess, and it's the way the business goes. Yeah. I sold another vintage top, pajama top, baby doll, baby doll. It was an XXXL, 3XL, for just $10. So the tops, if it's just a banana pajama top, they don't sell for a ton. Um, I would mostly go for the long or the short nightgowns. I've been selling some games. My husband, John, has got some good games. And I sold a, a vintage aggravation game for 20, basically $22 plus shipping. All of these are going to be plus shipping. Oh, I sold 
these uh, this quilt blanket. It was very good quality, uh, very soft. Had a cool design of like the mountains on it. Sold that for twenty five. I've been doing really well with blankets and um, throws and quilts and that kind of thing. Um, I'm gonna kind of just throw some stuff out here at you guys. Look for, okay, I'm gonna bring this up because look for, I sold a Mountain Dew uh, t-shirt within a couple of weeks of purchasing it. I, all these items I don't pay more than $5 for normally. I think I paid $1.50 for this, sold it for $14.70. I've sold Dr. Pepper, Mountain Dew, Coca-Cola, Pepsi, um, yeah, so when you're outsourcing, look for those, you know, soda pop brands. I'm sure A&W would do well. Um, people like that kind of thing, and a lot of them are vintage. It's nostalgic. It takes them back to their childhood. Okay, so I sold this Jordan Starbucks mug. If you guys don't know the city mugs for Starbucks, some of them could be quite valuable in the hundreds. This one wasn't. I sold it for $21.22, but I think I paid two bucks for it, so I was happy with it. Um, it all depends on the city. Um, some like New York or Seattle, those those sell for higher. This was like Jordan, like I said, so it wasn't as sought after. I sold this Bob Marley One Love uh, hoodie. I had that about three months, paid a dollar fifty for it. Sold it for seventeen. Okay, I sold this plush. It's by Animal Adventure. That's a good brand if you're outsourcing for plush. It was like a bunny rabbit, but it had a horn. So it was like a unicorn bunny rabbit. And I don't know if they bought it for Easter, or just their little girl wanted it or whatever. But uh, $16.17 plus shipping. Sold this um, these home beautiful plates. I got these at my local thrift store. Maybe paid $4 for those, sold them for $21.57. Took about two to three months to sell, but they were small plates, like dessert plates. So I didn't mind shipping those. If there are big plates, I really try and stay away from the big plates. You know, you really got to bubble wrap them and pack them well in a bigger box. But this one wasn't hard to ship at all. I sold a Nautica back, bathrobe. It's like my second bathrobe I sold um, in the last few months that got me good profit. That was for 17. Some of these are lowball offers. I had them listed for higher, but you know, I took the lower offer. I think I had that at 25 and I took the 17. Sold these cowboy boots for 35. Oh, this, okay. I had this shabby chic Rachel Ashwell uh, roses curtain for listed for three to four months. And I had it 95 because that's what they sell for. And I had like 20 watchers and I had multiple offers I got to send out. And this person finally offered me, they offered me 60 and I came up with 65 and they took it. And I thought, I'll just flip it. I paid two bucks for it. The thrift store had no idea what they had in that. Sold a quilt recently for $41. Sold this pillow, this Brookstone pillow for $30. I paid two bucks for that. Another example of the thrift store not knowing what they had. So those are some of my what solds as of late. I just wanted to give you guys an idea what to look for. I'm going to be putting footage, um, other footage on this video. So I want to keep this kind of short. Oh, one other thing I sold is this redhead work coat jacket. I think I paid two bucks or I could have gotten that for free because our thrift store has free stuff and I sold it for 20 within a few days so look for those coats I do have several coats that I've listed they're taking up room in my closet upstairs here so I'm kind of regretting it but coats are a good sell and so are sweaters oh, um, Okay, you guys, I hope that gives you some ideas of what to get, to what to look for, and to flip on eBay. And I will see you later. Bye. John and I are at St. Vincent de Paul in Twin Falls. And we had no idea, but they're having a St. Patrick's parade today. Did you ever see Do you hear it? Guess what day it is, everybody. <laughs> Here, I'll give you a hand. Look You're at right. John's it's shirt. Valentine's Day. <laughs> no, it's Easter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we got a parade going down the street. We actually had to park a block away and walk over here. We had no idea they were having a parade.
It's cool to see all the families though and the kids. Ooh. Do you have this, this is neat. Mary Poppins return. You know, I think I gave it to Susie, so I think I do want it. Okay. I don't know why I gave it to Susie, my sister. This is neat. I'm gonna look this up. This might be worth something. Yeah, we're at St. Vincent de Paul. I've been in here for a little while. It's not very crowded. I think everyone's watching the parade. I've already gotten one. I can't get to get a tote because I'm trying to organize my basement. Got this really cool picture. Only two ninety nine. I might keep it. I'm not sure. Might sell it. Don't know. That's what I got so far, and then my for my nephew's baby. We're going to the shower in the May. Bless you. Thank you. Up. Huh? Look at this. The lost spectacles. <coughs> How I found my glasses when I couldn't see a thing. <laughs> now a large now print. Large print. Bifocals, cheaters, sunglasses. By can you read this? <laughs> That's great. Love it. Oh, it's a TJ Maxx thing. It's like old pottery. Trying to get away from the breakables. You guys know my niche is clothing, but I do still sell, still sell other things. That is a big thermos. Adventure's first stop. Maverick. Oh, I know Maverick. I've been to their stores. All right, I'll look this up in a minute. I hope it doesn't break. Mm, that's amazing. Those are the same. It's plastic. I don't know what it's going to be. Hey, you want a popcorn holder? <laughs> Look at it. Oh, uh, that's funny. <laughs> I figured that would be a nick. Johnny, do you need little tongs? I didn't get the big tongs. Really? Two dollars. Um, there's, honey, there's more. Oh, I'll grab the one because these are the better ones. What were you gonna say? Okay. 
Yeah, we watched the movie the other night. I showed John the lake house. Uh, 2006 with Sandra Bullock and Keanu Reeves. And he liked it. Ooh. These are my spreaders I want This is close. I'll look it up. Yes, I do not have a GoPro. I'm still using my phone to film. So I cannot look it up at the same time as we're filming. Ooh, there's lots of tongs. All right, if you come over here, I'll leave them all. You pick the one you want. Oh, and there's these. Oh, look at these. This is uh, Thursday. I believe this is Thursday. Uh, St. Patrick's Day, as I mentioned earlier. Oh, I like this, Johnny, but you don't need another one. Red Seal Ale. Yeah, my husband has to collect their glasses without meaning to. Ooh, I really like these. There's a whole set of these. Isn't that pretty? Don't need them, but... There's this size, too. I know, we have an abundance. We have an abundance of glasses. I just think they're really pretty and they'd be matching. We don't have matching ones right now. This is a different kind of size. You know, the kind of, um, would you use this size? Uh -oh. Ooh, I gotta hurry. Here, I'm taking my thumb. I knew they were gonna close. So.
It's a laminated placemat, and then look, there's a map on the other side. Oh, very nice. Yeah. We have you in our system. Yes. Yes. They're throwing candy for the kids. Candy. Go. What's that? They're throwing candy for the kids. Oh, nice. Yeah, very nice. This is great weather for this. Yesterday would have been crappy. It was cold and windy, but this is so nice. 55 and sunny. Just think if we'd had yesterday's weather today. Okay, wonderful. Honey, we got $10 off. Oh, I love it. It was 18 but it's Woohoo! Got a discount because I shop here yeah, and spend a lot of money usually. We didn't get that much today because they were closing. Oh, fun. I love seeing them throw candy for kids. You should be in the parade. Oh, yeah, honey. You should just walk down the street. Yeah, you fit right in. Yeah. Thank you, guys. We'll let you close up. Yeah, thank you. You too. Well, oh, here we go to the loudness of the parade. Wow, it's craziness. Look at this. Oh, they're playing. Oh. Yeah. This is wild.